Okay, my friend, you are a little different case, okay. so we have to discuss, tell your situation yes. uh, to everyone, yes. because you have micro T cell yes. plus varicocerectomy. Sure. So uh, now it's fourth day after the procedure, yes. and I am looking always after the varicocele operations if there is good blood flow, but now I am also looking is there any damage right. after the micro T cell, because we open your testicle like opening. Like, like into two half sure. and we look for the good tubes yes. uh, fortunately thanks to Allah yeah. we find good sperms good, yeah. good quality sperms we find good tubes mm -hmm. and uh, they did the micro TSA plus XC yes. now when I look to these tests is there any changes because of micro TSA? yes of course look at this look some small parts right. are affected they will heal they will heal but the rest is very nice. There are some small parts that we took the samples, sure. uh, but the testis is looking nice. When I look to blood flow, you see blood is coming into the testis nicely. Mm -hmm. Actually, it is more than normal varicocele operation. Maybe there is tissue healing. That's why blood is flushing, uh, rushing into this testicle, trying to heal the tissues. So we. Uh, find sperm we need micro T cell. People ask me, they say I have azospermia plus I have varicocell. Which one I should go first? So if you have time, if your uh, age is enough, maybe the best is do the varicocell surgery first, then go for maybe you will give normal sperms, maybe if you need micro T cell, it will be more successful. But if you don't have time, you are coming from another country. So, uh, you, you come with your wife, yes. our gynecology doctors, IVF doctors, get ready her, mm -hmm. they prepared her, yes. then we did the micro TSA, plus we did the varicocele. Yeah. Fortunately, the sperms are very nice, they find good sperms. Yeah. What, what's the number of sperms they find? 5,000. 5,000, which yeah. is good quality. Yeah. Very good quality, 5,000 sperm, which is very nice, yeah. and they did the uh, transfer to? Absolutely. They, they How many? They transferred two, em uh, two embryos. Two embryos. And nice. three have been frozen. Yeah. So this is nice. Uh, Microtase has 50% chance. Mm. In 50% of the patients, unfortunately, we are not finding sperm. Mm. Uh, but in your testicle, when I look with ultrasound, I said, hey, this is a good testis. I hope there will be a sperm in it. Okay. And yeah, it was like this. Now I'm looking to your spermatic cord. Right. Remember, before the operation, there were too much veins. Now they are done. Okay. I take them out. Okay. This is only artery here. Right. Uh, it looks nice. I close the colors to be to increase the resolution. Okay. I move to these white tissues are oedema. Okay. They will disappear, and I come here to testicle. Right. Okay, all the big vessels have done. Okay. Varicocell is over. We find the sperm in micro This mm -hmm. is what I recommend. Yeah. If you have micro and have varicocell, mm -hmm. do it together. Sure. Why not? Sure. So, how was the healing? Is it difficult? How no, was no, no. It? it was very easy. I mean, uh, I feel very good. Yeah. Uh, initially, there was a lot of swelling, but after the two, three days, the swelling went down. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and could you walk and yes. normal yes, activities? Yes, yes. I've been walking, going to the shops, yeah. shopping. Yeah. So yeah. you, of course, compared to a varicocele case, yeah. it is a little more difficult, more tricky, and sure. but you will spend more time in Turkey because yeah. you will wait for the results. Now yeah. they transferred, and 15 days later they will yeah. say you if it is continuing or they yeah. lose lose the uh, embryo. So you have more time and we will do more controls, but now it's very nice. Uh, yeah, let me show the uh, operative photos uh, one more time. Okay, my friend, now in the operation, of course, we first did micro This mm -hmm. is the most important part. Yeah. Then we go with, and let me show in micro what we find. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I think this one, no, this one. Maybe. Yes, that one. Yeah, this one is the best one. So look at this. Running. Yeah, it's it's trying to escape. We catch it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's 
they find really good sperm. Unfortunately, it is only happening in half of the patients, in okay. other spermia patients. Okay. Yeah. I want everyone, everyone to be like this. Yeah. We are working on this, but yeah. unfortunately, only in half of the men. Uh, where is it? It was really trying to escape. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And the best thing, this hospital, you know, they are very experienced on this. Yes. Easily can. can. For example, first they show me. Yeah. Uh, they let me show you. They show me this one. Yeah. I couldn't see it at first, yeah. or saw me that one. They said, oh, we see you see yeah, in the something top, moving yeah. here. Moving there, yeah. uh, but they also see many other spams too here. Yeah. It's difficult, they get used to. Here they also see some spams I couldn't see. No. Here they said one, Yeah. and here they said one. Yeah. Now my, my eyes also get used to seeing that. Okay, uh, they, yeah, it's now focused be better. But 5,000 is a lot, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, very yeah. good. Yeah, because because immediately when I opened the testicle, I saw the good tubes, give some samples, they find it immediately. So we didn't do too much uh, dissection in yeah. the testicle, yeah. too much yeah. tissue resection. Yeah. So, and after that, this is the varicose cell. So, you know, my technique is to remove these veins. I don't want to leave them here. Absolutely. So, we removed it. Okay. And, uh, it's very big. Yeah, it's really big, maybe 25, 30 centimeters. Yeah. And we remove the inner part, outer parts, and then we take out a lot of vessels. Yeah. And we can write your initials. Absolutely. Uh, so, yeah, that was a good operation. We are very satisfied. And you say the healing was not problematic? No, it was not a problem at all. Yeah. Although I was worried because, you know, like 27 uh, years ago, yeah. I had the right testicle removed. And yes. after that, I had hematoma, I had to go back and drain and, you know, read. Yeah. But, so with that bad memory. Yes, you, you, warned, you warned me. You said, <laughs> be careful. Yeah. But I was careful, but, yeah. you know, I am always doing this operation. Yeah, yeah. So experience sure. is yes. different, something yes. different. Uh, it helps, it really helps. Yeah. Healing is, but still I have some patients who have bleeding and yeah. they have big hematoma exactly. in the scrotum. We know how to manage it, how to deal with it. Yeah. Usually, or maybe nearly never, we need another operation. Uh, we know how to do if something happens like that. Yeah. So you know Mandek? Come on. Yeah. Mandek. 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 In Somali. Yes. Yes, Mandek. Yes. Yeah. I, I am a Somali fan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's no, uh, with that bad memory, you know, I was worried, but uh, this time the healing was very, 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 very easy for me. And, uh, and uh, you know, I did not feel any yeah. uh, problem. I was checking always, and I saw the swelling is going down. Yeah. In the second day, I used ice pack. Yes. When I called you, I said, can I use yeah. ice pack? I just used ice pack for one day. Wow. That's all. Only the second day. I didn't yeah. use it again. The swelling, uh, uh, the swelling is very common. Yeah. It's not like, like if we hit your face, that will be swelling. Yeah. So here, the swelling happens. Everybody has concern. Yeah. But I say, let's relax yeah. and use it, and it's it's really affecting nicely. Thank you, thank you for coming. Inshallah, uh, everything will be very successful. Inshallah. We are now waiting for the results of the IVF. Yeah. In 15 days, they will come out. Yes. Uh, but I hope maybe next year yeah. you may even ejaculate normal sperm because this, this everything seems dream. normal yeah. Uh, yeah. unfortunately not everyone is that successful yeah. in half of the azospermia patients we cannot find sperm inside the testes yeah. but we have to do what has to be done i recommend everyone if they have azospermia plus varicose cell yeah. if have if they have enough time yeah. if they are patient enough they can do the varicose cell first, yeah. then wait for the result yeah. and do the IVF one year later. Okay. But if, as your case, they yeah. want to do it as quick as possible, sure. so during, during micro T cell, it's mm -hmm. possible to correct the varicose cell. Right. They can be done together, like your case. Yeah. Uh, and I recommend it to be done in this way. Absolutely. Thank you very much for coming, for choosing Thank this. You, Thank you very much. Thank you so much.